Hey what's going on everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about all the new content and fixes coming in the Operation Glasshouse update that will be released on Monday the 16th of May. The patch notes just dropped on the New World Interactive website so we're going to go through them. I'll also leave a link in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Right let's get into this because there's a lot to cover. So first things first, we're getting a new map, two new weapons as well as both free and paid cosmetic items. The map we will be playing on will be called Prison, and it will be a close quarters focus map. Prison has already been seen before, and you can find footage of it, as this was the map that won the community map contest. However, console players will be able to experience this for the first time. We're getting two new weapons, both of which are shotguns. We'll get the KSG for the insurgents, costing two supply points, and the KS-23 costing four points for the security. In terms of cosmetics, which I'm not really bothered about, but I know a lot of people are, there are two free cosmetics coming, and the Insurgent's dude is probably the best of the bunch. His skin really suits the aesthetic of the game, and the security skin is just kinda meh. I can't see a lot of people using him to be honest. There's also two paid skins, one for each faction. We'll get the riot gear for the security, which is kinda cool, although I'm not sure if he's wearing armour or not, and if he is, will equipping armour affect the look of this character? and for the insurgents we'll get the Bane looking character ripped straight from Batman. It does look kinda badass but I wish the game went a bit more grounded and true to the setting. There's also new weapon skins coming, Woodland for the security and that'll be available on the KSG, the Honey Badger, the Org A3, the Tavor 7, the M110 Sass and the Tariq Pistol and the Carbon Fibre skin which be looking clean for the insurgents. This will be available on the KS-23, the Alpha AK, the AS Val, the FAMAS, the SVD and the Browning HP. They've also added a little side note about the Brute Cosmetics uh, and how it behaves when mixing and matching. You can pause the video and have a read or just go on the website and have a look. Now in terms of patch notes, there are so many changes coming. Uh, gameplay improvements. So they've changed the spawn protection to try and stop spawn camping, which I honestly don't think was an issue to begin with. But obviously some people did, so they've added two timers. The first will last 30 seconds, and the second will override the first timer once a player moves or performs an action. This timer will last 5 seconds. Once this timer has passed, I'm guessing you're able to take damage. This system will have a notification system implemented similar to the friendly fire one in the top left corner of the screen. Game mode improvements, so ambush has been heavily optimised and it seems there was a lot of bugs and crashes in the mode and they've now been fixed. Frontline also gets the same treatment where crashes are now fixed which is great. Co-op players aren't forgotten as outpost and survival both get optimised properly with bug fixes. Uh, user experience improvements, new settings have been added to help distinguish friends in your party to other players so you can change the colours. There's also a new pulsing white alert to notify you that an off-screen objective is being taken. I'm guessing this will be in the top left corner of the screen as well. Uh, they've changed the level design uh, for a few of the levels, made improvements to maps and also fixes. Uh, Bab, Citadel, Crossing, Farmhouse, Gap, Hillside, Ministry, Outskirts, Precinct, Power Plant, The Firing Range, Refinery, Tell, and Tideway all receive some love with this update, bringing crash, crash fixes, resolving lighting issues, collision issues, invisible wall fixes, and even new layouts on certain modes for specific maps. PC players get modding improvements, so they've added missing VIP assets to the modding tools, and have fixed crashing issues when unsubscribing from mods. And then there's a section where <laughs> They've, they've basically highlighted all the issues they've resolved and this is a very very long list. So it's a huge list but in their own words, in the spirit of visibility with the community we are including as much information as we can clobber together. With the list being so long, I'm actually not going to read everything out here because this video would end up being half an hour long. But there are plenty of fixes for AI in the game. There are issues with the art and graphics that have been resolved. Audio and VO issues have been addressed. Crashes and optimization have been worked on. The Epic Games Store got some fixes. 
and a lot of gameplay bugs have now been fixed. Localization and performance have been improved on and there's a load of user interface fixes too. They've also included a list of known issues that are to be looked at and worked on. And I mean, credit where credit is due, there's a hell of a lot of fixes here. And if the dev, ke dev team can actually manage to pull this off, I suppose we could let them off for uh, not giving us any new content in a while. Now we just have to wait and see, and hopefully on Monday we have an update that's been worth waiting for. I for one can't wait to jump in and try it out. And I'll be playing the new update live on my channel on release and we'll have videos coming out shortly after on the map, the guns and the general feel of the game. So if you're new here and want to see more on Operation Glasshouse or just Insurgency Sandstorm in general, why not drop a sub? It really helps me out. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one here and I hope you have a great day. Take it easy guys.